as the people of God, we must have an attitude, not just of gratitude, but one of boasting in the God of our salvation for what he has done for us and will do through us. Prayer, fasting, while reading the word of God has equipped us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We are expected to win. God has destroyed the enemy. We must now drive the enemy out. Well, bless the Lord. To all who are listening and joining me this morning on this time of devotion unto our God, God is good and his mercy endureth forever. Our meditation comes today from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 1 through 6, where the children of Israel was reminded of the formidable strength of the enemies which they now have to encounter. But Moses reminding them of the enemy was not designed to drive them from God, Jehovah, and to discourage their hope in him, but rather to drive them to God and to encourage their hope in him who has all power and might to secure and prosper them. And so in verse 3, Moses declared, But you can be sure that it is the Lord your God who goes across the river before you. And God is like a fire that destroys. He will destroy those nations and make them fall before you. You will force those nations out and quickly destroy them. The Lord has promised you that this will happen. The word of God to the people of God. God will destroy the enemy. He will destroy the enemy of our souls. Our job is to drive the enemy out. And he has given us power to do just that. God is good. Father, we honor you for your strength towards us. Even this day, we thank you for your blessings upon us, even this hour. And so we commit to you today and we pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Our expectation is in you and we are going to win. And so I pray for those who lead the nations. And I thank you for our prime minister and all of parliament. We commit them to you. We pray for the body of Christ that we will be strong in you even today. That we will put on the whole armor. We will not make provision for sin and the flesh. But we will indeed grow in grace. We pray for those who lead in the medical profession. Those who lead in the service industry. We commit our brothers and sisters to you today, our colleagues, those who lead us in education, in every aspect of our nation. We commit to you today and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere, that our expectation is in God, who is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We will win even today and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as we strive in God, as we grow in grace. God has given us power. We are overcomers even in the name of the Lord. Have a great day in the Lord.